Hey and welcome to Rautas Dual Review. This time I have a band from Estonia called Pime, which roughly translates as dark. Very close to Finnish word Pime, which means darkness or dark. Anyway, uh, this one is a curious band founded in 2003 and uh, so far only two EPs out. And actually it seems uh, one of the EPs here, it was released originally as demo in uh, 2010 and then 2019 was the later one released. However, these reissues or the reissue, if you can call the EP, other EP, that is from 2020. So 2019-2020, uh, that's pretty much of the whole band. And to be honest with it, these two could be very much siblings. That is, they are very, very much like each other. Both are EPs and both have the same kind of a music. That is kind of a groovy, melodic, mid-tempo black metal with some good ideas and definitely good production, but not exactly great in music. I'll get into that in a little bit. But first, let's take a look at these uh, ZDs or CDRs, as the case here seems to be. So this is very much a uh, self-financed uh, project so far. This is Aki Vasha and features handful of songs and very simple design, having some, some sort of a druid or something with a edged weapon uh, in, in her hand. And there it is, the CD, which is CDR. And here we have the uh, CD inlay. This is Aki Vasha. And then we have this one called, uh, let me just get the proper idea to, you know, pronounce it. Avani Mine. <laughs> uh, this is probably an Estonian, which I really don't understand, even though it's kind of a close to a uh, Finnish language. As you can see, this one is, uh, this one features a couple of bonus tracks, which were not, it seems on the original one. So five tracks plus two covers. And uh, technically speaking, both are EPs. And here you have, this is re-recorded version of the demo 10 years afterwards. And this is probably the reason which then again uh, explains that why the quality or more like the production on this EP is very much as on the first one. Well, first one and first one, depending how you want to put it. Now, like I said, this band started as early as 2003, but took quite a, quite a few years to figure it out, like, hey, what's going to do? And here is the lineup, and it seems um, the lineup, apart from the vocalist, guitar, space, the main guy, so to speak, Vincent Arcarum, has pretty much changed over the years. Now, um, I don't know exactly why, and to be honest, it goes beyond the scope of this review, but as it is, it seems like this band has had some lineup problems or more like because of its nature, it hasn't really been progressing like, you know, your typical bands releasing an album every few years and all that stuff. Now, whatever is the reason, doesn't really matter. Like I said, uh, Akibasha features a few tracks, five in total, and this is some 23 minutes of music. Groovy, melodic. And like I said, nice overall production. The bass guitar really has more space than so many other bands in the genre. But the music is something like, it is catchy, but it could be a lot catchier. There's some nice ideas which seem to, you know, work for the favor of the band. But then again, there are also something that I could really call more like a filler tracks. Now, it sounds worse than what it actually is. My point here is there are like uh, good ideas and then and there's some like decent ideas resulting the overall overall feeling rather decent. Now, of course, this Avanimine uh, new version, uh, which was released later on, well, they still still missing these uh, cover songs mentioned, but it is closer to 30 minutes or roughly that idea. Both are very much in comparison. Like there is very, very different, uh, very, very minimal differences between these two. So it doesn't really matter which way you go. You are probably like them both or none of them. In my opinion, this is an interesting band, which just seems to do way too little music uh, versus its quality. I mean, there is definitely a lot of potential this to be kind of a next big team coming from Estonian black metal scene. Um, but I don't know, these are still missing some magical item that would be the thing to, you know, really make it happen. Um, when it comes to these melodic parts, they are definitely the key to being enjoyable. And of course, it's good production and good vocals. They definitely help, but they are not to break the barrier, so to speak. Anyway, if you're 
not so familiar with the Estonian black metal bands or don't know anything where to start with, this one and Lloyd's are the kind of bands and you could really, really get the idea what is uh, Estonian black metal is, you know, all about, especially when the language is not English or, you know, the typical things. So go check it out. Interesting band for people who are not aware what's going on. Now, check out those links and hope you like the music. Thanks for watching the review. Take care and bye-bye.